What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very big announcement for the channel, and it's just sort of an update video for you guys. I wanted to get on here and just kind of, you know, talk about a little bit of stuff and just kind of announce something. First of all, I think it's pretty big news, and uh, I'll get into all of those different things. So I'll announce it. You guys can let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, just sort of an update video. I don't really know where it's going to go, right? I, I don't really know where we're going to go. I'll, I'll probably pull in some random stuff that I want to let you guys know about. I think I have a couple pickups in this video, so if you guys want to know what I added to the collection, that may be part of a thing there. And I may have some questions or some things to run by you guys, so if you guys want to stick around to the end, I'd greatly appreciate it. But today we do have a huge announcement, and the announcement is actually going to be that me and my wife are expecting our second child into the world coming August 2022. So we will have now two children so we're gonna find out the gender i think in six days i think it's next weekend or something like that we will find out the gender of it and we will unveil that i'll probably make a whole another video about that i did that for my son the first go around and it was pretty awesome and i appreciate all you guys support out there and maybe uh, i'll need help with names and things of that nature again like last time you know we did that last time as well but yeah we're expecting our second child very very excited for this opportunity to welcome a second child into the world very blessed individual absolutely love it cannot wait to get started here and get started i don't really know i'm acting like it's a project or something but you guys get what i'm talking about i'm sure a lot of you out there have children of your own or you may be a child yourself but anyways man yeah i mean that's the big announcement that i want to get on here you probably saw the the title and you may have thought to yourself jesus christ what's happening right now but no there's no like negativity or anything like that man really exciting times around here very awesome stuff going on i, I didn't want to do like the clickbaity like i have an announcement with the head down or something like that and try to make it all dramatic and make it seem like i'm leaving or quitting or, or any of those different things so that'll be a whole different thing there I'm not into all that but yeah you, you guys can let me know how, how you feel down in the comment section below but yeah huge news I'm excited very very excited we're all excited around here I think I'll probably plug Jojo in this video at one point just to you know so I can show him off a little bit there but if you guys did not know we already have one son his name is Josiah but we call him Jojo he'll be two in like 10 days or something like that which is kind of wild because the day of his birth actually we, it was New York Toy Fair I think it was New York Toy Fair, and it was right before COVID hit. It was like right before everything shut the heck down. You know, I think that was like maybe a week or two before like, you, you guys remember on Sports Night, I think it was like the Kings and Pelicans were supposed to play or something like that, and then they literally shut down the world, and it was all for everybody to see, and that's kind of the first time that I saw that because, you know, big into sports and stuff, we were at home chilling with JoJo, who was a newborn at the time. They shut the world down, and so uh, that, that was literally, the day he was born was the day of New York Toy Fair, where we got to see eight AEW series number one, series number two, we got to see the chase variants, and now fast forward, we have a whole new and matched wave, and what we're three or four series in, and we do have the Supreme line coming, and then we also have Unrivaled collections all the way up to series eight, with series nine coming not too far away, and lots of lots of things have changed, right? I mean, Adam Cole is in AEW, we have Brian Danielson, we have CM Punk returning to wrestling, Keith Lee, Alistair Black. There's so many different characters and things that have changed the, the landscape of wrestling and everything, and if you go back to that. Uh, New York Toy Fair announcement where we saw those figures. I would like to probably do like a comparison shot, you know, talk about what my expectations were, were and how excited I was compared to now. But outside of the big announcement, which again, I'm super giddy about, I can't like just having children is the best, biggest blessing that you could possibly receive in your entire life. So to do that with the family that you love, with your wife or your significant other, man, no other feeling like it. Like absolutely, it's the, it's the best thing. It's the reason you get up in the morning, man. So those things right there, nothing can beat that. But also wanted to get on here and talk about some things as far as the channel is concerned because this week I also wanted to do uh, also today is Valentine's Day that just randomly popped in my head so happy Valentine's Day to you if you have a significant other out there or anything like that man go all out you know I, I've always been one to to spoil my wife the best way possible I think that those things are important and just making your significant other feel special on every occasion that you possibly can you really need to do those things so go out there enjoy your day maybe you've already enjoyed it because I know like going out the day of on Valentine's Day is another thing like that that's, that's a really bad thing there you know with the crowds and all those different things so maybe you want to go out the day after or maybe the weekend prior would probably be the thing and it kind of snuck up on us really with Valentine's Day because it was on a Monday I thought for sure it was on a Tuesday it was on a Monday so that shocked me a little bit but always got to be prepared as far as channel stuff goes this week I wanted to do some pretty big videos leading up to Elimination Chamber this weekend so that'll be something we cover we're going to cover the pay-per-view we're going to watch it we're going to review it here on the channel we'll see you know what's going on with that I also wanted to do some things leading up to that Elimination Chamber style, and maybe that can get us back into the flow of, of filming and things of that nature, because I really want to get into it, man, because I do want to get these pick-fed episodes out. That is something 
that a lot of you have been asking for, and for good reason. You know, I do want to film pick feds. I want to get those shows out to you guys and get back in the lab and on the grind. One thing that uh, really kind of set things back was when we did those horror action figure videos, you guys know that we had the ring, right, and I poured the blood all over it. Well, when I poured the blood all over the ring for those matches and stuff, if you guys have a match and watch the MDT Horror Tournament of the Damned from October, definitely go check that out. Epic tournament. I thought it, it turned out pretty pretty fun. It was a fun adventure there. That is something that I have to do. I have not recovered the arena since then because I need to uh, clean some things up, but also during that whole process, when I poured the blood all over the ring and like all those different things, the ring had to be replaced. So when I put it underneath my table over here, my dog actually ran over the ring and broke some turnbuckles and, and different pieces. And my MDT live ring was already suffering from broken turnbuckles and stuff. I had to like fix it and go in there and like put some screws in it and reinforce it. So that's a whole nother thing. I don't even know if the, the rings are operational at this moment. Like there's some extensive damage done to those. I have to replace the ring cameras and stuff. So that's kind of been what kind of set me back. And then with all the different figures we kept getting and then Christmas and then all those different things. Okay, you know, one thing leads to another. You're constantly doing reviews and things. So it kind of put a dent in the filming schedule, but I plan on getting those things back under control now and getting that back under a, you know, a fo following a, a pattern there. That way we can get those episodes out because uh, we're, we're close to the big thing and uh, I want to do the big thing on this table right here, man. I went out of my way to build this table. Now I know the shelf turned into the, it, it worked out because I ended up being an AEW mock collector and the shelf up, up here, you guys know we built, we hand built this table. This table was not here a while back. We built this table up. We put that shelf up and it's kind of become the home of the AEW mock collection. I've run out of room. You guys can see here, I have mock figures and stuff stacked on the table because I have no, I have nowhere else to put it. Like the shelf is full. If I, if I load them up and stack them on top of each other, not only do you risk injury, injuring, you risk destroying the packaging of your figures. You also run the risk of the shelf collapsing, going into the table, the table breaking, and then everything going to hell. So one thing we got to do is we have to uh, get this cleared out, get everything fixed up. If I have to, I'll put those in bins or something and put them away for a while, or I'll stack them over there in the corner. But I got to get this set up. I want my crowd background up. I want a new crowd background that I've been working on. I want to get that up. I want to have a big, nice style arena because my vision for My Damn Nation for the big show is going to be insane as far as like the crowd and what I have in my brain and things I've been working on behind the scenes for years, honestly, years that uh, that uh, the ideas and the things that have been stirring behind the scenes that nobody knows about. I've had to keep them secrets for, for years because of things that are out of my control, things that, uh, you know, I didn't get taken care of when I should have, and uh, they've accumulated there, but I have great visions and great things planned for the rest of the year and it's going to be excellent man and that starts off with our new child coming in by august 2022 so i'm we're super duper excited for it cannot wait for it man but i'm gonna go get my son before we get out of here because i want to show him off and uh, maybe he'll do some cool tricks or something i don't know he's about to turn two which makes me feel sick but uh i don't know let's let's go get him jojo come here look. will you say hey people look <gasps> who is that who is who is that? No. No. What do you want to tell the people? Okay, I'll go outside. Then he wants to go outside. You want to go outside? Yes. Can you say hey, people? Hey, people. Here, wave at him like this. Wave. Put your finger out your mouth and wave. You want to tell him some stuff? What's on your shirt? Uh, no. You don't want to tell him stuff? Are you nervous? He thought it was real people. You thought there was going to be real people? Well, people can see you. It's on the video. You're going to see yourself yeah, you're on that ass TV. No. No? <laughs> uh, I want to do it You want to watch Tractor Wagon on that ass TV? Well, can you tell the people bye-bye? Bye-bye, people. Bye-bye, people. Blame a kiss? No. No? No, okay. don't blame a kiss. <laughs> No, touch it. Okay. No touch it. Okay. <laughs> we'll go back with Mama. Come on. Well, that didn't go like I planned. Also, I went to Target the other day, and I didn't film it, but I found the Ultimate Edition Undertaker, and I'm I'm trying to catch back up on the Ultimate Editions. Uh, I figured everybody else is doing an Ultimate Edition mock collection, so I might as well attempt it, I guess, and I don't even have room for it, so what am I, what am I doing, you know? I think I have this. I have the Amazon Ultimate Warrior. I have Jeff Hardy. I have Kane. I have Stone Cold. I have... I want to say there's a few more that I have. That may be the extent of it. It's not very big, you know, but I... It, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm still trying.
you know? I have like 11 Ultimate Edition John Cena's. None of them mock, you know? That's how the cookie crumbles, but that's what I want to get on here and talk about, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know what you think down in the comment section below. Anything you want to chime in on on the channel or just anything you want to talk about or anything, man. Just let me know down in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys so very much, man. Thank you guys so very much for the My Damn Nation or the MDT Nation, man. You guys are the best. Uh, you know, the channel would not be where it is without any of you, so I really do appreciate it, man. Thank you guys so very much, man. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave a like on the video and comment down below anything you really want, I guess. I, I don't know, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video, and go enjoy your day. And don't cross the line when you do. You cross the line.